Greetings family, welcome back to my channel. I trust everyone as well. In this particular video, I want to discuss Israel. Uh, this is a follow up video to my previous video. Um, US President Joe Biden is now warning Israel not to attack Iran's nuclear installations. Um, we all know that nuclear fallout would be devastating to any society. But it is being reported that Israel is now preparing for an attack on Iran. Um, America, as I said in the previous video, has actually urged Israel to engage in a ceasefire for 21 days. Um, Israel has gotten to the point where Israel is moving like a renegade regime. They have taken it upon themselves and decided to reject the um, ceasefire and to also embark on an attack on Iran and also an entire military campaign in Lebanon. Well, family, Iran has exercised what I would consider a great degree of restraint. Um, they've shown a great deal of restraint after Israel executed a person, basically assassinated a person within their borders. Um, I believe this was also a Hezbollah leader. He was attacked by a missile and assassinated. Um, for the past few weeks, everyone has been anticipating a response from Iran, some type of attack on Israel. But Iran, like as I said, showed some restraint. Well, recently we know that the Hezbollah leader, Nasrallah, was killed in his country of Lebanon. And he had close ties to many people in the region. And so for Iran, this was the final straw. They decided that they would launch 180 rockets as an attack that they believe is an attack in kind. The thing about this whole situation that really causes me to question the motives of Israel. I recently saw an interview with the former security advisor to Benjamin Netanyahu who basically admitted on live television that Israel has been planning to attack Iran's nuclear installations for about nine years. He didn't say it that way. What he did was he explained that for nine years Iran has been preparing or Israel has been preparing for an attack on Iran. And he basically said that Israel will not allow Iran to develop nuclear capabilities. You know, he said this openly and honestly on the airwaves. So basically for the past nine years, Israel has been thinking about the potential for Iran to develop nuclear weapons like every other sovereign state um, that has the science and that has the finances around the world. And so to me this admission speaks volumes and it is no coincidence that Joe Biden thought it was necessary to caution Israel and tell them basically the nuclear installations are off the table. Right? Um, because of the rebellious rhetoric that has been in the press from Israel as of late, it's highly unlikely that Israel will listen to America. Um, Benjamin Netanyahu uh, most likely considers Joe Biden to be weak, to be spineless, um, asleep at the wheel, and so he's carrying on his own campaign without regard to his key financier. You know, as I said in my last video, America has basically been propping up this regime since the 1950s. And most recently, America has been giving them a lot of finances and uh, military training, um, 
weaponry to allow them to effectively defend themselves. And so Israel has taken it a step further and has now used this new arsenal of weapons or the tools as they call them to inflict havoc, to rain down destruction on persons who don't have um, an iron dome defense shield. Right, the countries that Israel is attacking don't have the weaponry and the technological advancement to, with, to withstand the kind of assaults that Israel has been launching. All right, but Israel is well aware that the majority of the attacks that they've received within the last 10 to 20 years have been largely ineffectual because their Iron Dome is basically missile proof. All right, but family, let me know what your thoughts are about this recent development. Do you think Iran is going to attack, or Israel is going to attack Iran's nuclear installations? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all these dynamics. One love. Family, I believe that the United Nations has really been asleep at the wheel in regards to this situation. Um, we need an organization like the UN to intervene in instances of conflict between two countries or several countries. The worst case scenario is a nuclear war. And let's all hope for the best. Let's hope it doesn't really devolve to that state. But as it stands right now, countries are really pushing the earth on the brink of a global conflict by continuing to act as aggressors and take provocative actions against countries. You know, it's surprising to see that the two uh, institutions that are at war are mostly religious people. It's sad to see that religious people are the persons inflicting the most damage on the earth. You know, cooler heads must prevail in this situation. Um, we don't want nuclear war. This is an existential threat that actually threatens the survival of our species. And so, I would hope that persons take a mature approach, um, try to forgive grievances where possible, and basically stop putting the human race or the human species at risk with all of this quarreling, destruction, genocide, etc. But family, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all these dynamics. One love.